Welcome back to episode 2 of how to get more kills as an anchor. If you didn't see episode 1, check it out here, and I'll also put a link in the description. I definitely recommend you check that out first. In part 2, we'll be going over how to get more kills with Wumai. I'm all about helping you guys grow on this channel, so consider subscribing if you want to see more of this content. Okay, we're going to be grabbing Wumai here pretty soon, and... The way we're going to be defending this is actually a counter to the way that we just attacked. So if you notice, the score is 2-1. We're on Villa. It's about to, we're about to go Aviator Games. So the way we're going to be defending is actually... We just assume they're going to attack the same way we attacked because it was very effective. We actually structured our defend to counter what we thought they were going to do, which is mimic our attack. So what we did was we got Thatcher and then we got Ace and we thatched the wall and then we just opened up all of sight and ended up just holding angles from uh, the window outside of the balcony and then also just on the balcony and ended up just getting easy kills that way, just easy picks. Uh, so we assumed they were going to do the same, just try to open up sight and then push in. Uh, so we brought Wumai and Jaeger. The Wumai-Jaeger combo is so powerful because you can deny so much utility. Now the only problem is that they actually brought an IQ and went below. Uh, so they ended up getting all the crap anyways. But the way you can counter that is actually to bring a roamer of some kind, Jaeger or whoever, you could, you could use Jaeger and to roam below and shoot anybody that tries to come in with IQ to get the stuff off the wall. At the very least, it delays time and keeps the wall closed, keeps the site closed. All right, so the way we're gonna be setting these up here, and you wanna try to make sure you put these well, my magnets away from the wall, especially uh, the wall you're trying to protect, like over here, because you don't want that the thatcher the emp grenade has pretty big radius so you don't want it to be too close to actually just kind of defeat the purpose so make sure you're putting them far enough away from the walls okay something actually i want to show you guys here really quickly something you can kind of do to help avoid the iq from going below and on this bomb site and you can just apply this to other bomb sites is to try to put your magnets on top of surfaces that you might not be able to shoot through on the floor while also being away from the wall so in this case this fireplace i didn't do it this round but i ended up doing it in other games i would put a magnet up on top of this fireplace so that it was both away from the wall and couldn't be shot through the floor it's hard to do that but just try to find places like this desk i don't know if you can shoot all the way through the desk from the floor you probably can but um it's just worth trying because it could help delay even if iq does go below and your rums die maybe they still can't get the magnets off of the wall so it's a it's just a good idea to try to do it like that okay setting them up and something you can Something good to know. Um, You'll only need to, hopefully, the ho something good to know about Wamai is that you have two magnets before the round starts. So you can only put down two. Because you'll only need to trick one. I should go MP5 if I'm going to play shield because of the higher fire rate, probably. I actually don't agree with that anymore because I really like Wamai's AUG. It's super powerful has very low recoil. Uh, it's just kind of a killing machine and surprisingly easy to get headshots with. Me, I personally, I like I like the AUG. Okay, something you'll I only need to, hopefully, something I really want to share with you guys is this shield placement. Please, the hope is you'll only need to trick one. Okay, watch this shield placement. Right I should here. go MP5 for Villa. There are lots of places like this on other maps that you can put your shield but this one is so good, okay? So it's very common to plant behind the aviator uh, vault door over here. So something you can do, as will I, is put this shield up at an angle right next to the vault door to deny all of that entry. Because um, if you put it up at an angle, you can see through the slits to look through the aviator, uh, look at the aviator door and to look at the study door as I've, well. I'm gonna play shield because of the higher fire rate probably. Okay. I did bro. I'll get another always, one for you. I always like to close that off too because I just don't want people to sneak in or rush in. No, you know. No, you get clapped by uh, 
Aviator. So he was asking me to put my shield in the doorway, which um, it's not necessarily bad, but you can't really play it very easily, in my opinion, or at least very consistently, because the, you'll just get shot from Aviator Five door. Aviator. You actually see an example of that in this clip here. He's right. But I can throw him regardless. I can throw him regardless. Oh, somebody got a shield for me. Okay. Shields. So, <clears throat> something also with this setup, just something you can... These are just tactics you can use. You can apply them in your very next game. So, oh, somebody got a shield for me. Um, when you're doing this, you want to put a rotate right here and a reinforcement on right next to the rotate because if you don't put this reinforcement down you can actually be shot from the game's doorway uh just get wall banged like if they ping you and just wall bang you they join you out you know and it's not a bad it's not a good situation if you do that so i just wanted to make sure you knew that put that reinforcement right there and then that'll kind of complete this setup and you can play behind the shield you can keep throwing the discs so they can't like throw flashbangs into your lap and all that stuff so it's really it's really powerful oh, yeah. really powerful shield okay. and that's the thing about what my that's what part of what makes him so good is the shields in this game are very underrated you see them a lot in pro league because they're so powerful if you have ads's or well, my magnets because you can just play those slits and if you get good at just like popping up and shooting people or swinging off to the side and or even just looking through them for intel like you just you know what's going to happen like ever since they put these slits in here you definitely need to learn to play these shields better because they are so strong for anchoring that's all right i'm gonna get through uh her shit got one got one I have an ADS behind couch also. Yeah, I hear that. In lobby. Yeah, yeah, I got one more. In study. Okay. So there's that aviator. That's why I don't like to put the shield in the study door over here because the guy just like, it's it's hard, it's not even, it's hardly 40 seconds into the round and somebody's over there by the aviator door. And that's so common is for people to do that. So uh, that's why I just don't like putting that shield over there. You can't play it safely. Who that was? I'm lit. Thankfully, I flicked over and shot him in the face. I almost got clapped. I almost got clapped by Aviator, by the way. Right. Here, watch me put up this. Okay, so see. I think it's I, from audio. And watch. Oh, look, I'm being spotted too. So it's like. I think that's all of her shit. I should have put way. that up way earlier on, but I didn't. Harrison, you need to put bandit batteries down, bro. I'm out. You're out. And the reason he's out of bandit batteries is because IQ went below and shot all of them. Can you shoot that? Okay. You can you can shoot him. You can shoot him. Okay. So what I'm doing here is playing aggressive map control denial. So I want to make sure that they don't get the map control they're trying to get. And the easiest way that I know to do that is to hold them right here at the doorway. Now, this is really risky because if they drone me out, they can easily, you know, they could easily pre-fire me. But at the same time, a lot of people don't expect right as you're opening it up to just be like holding them. So, Callie. Kill. No, peeking it. And I'm not like sitting right in front of the breach or even holding a, a common angle like behind the vault door. I am specifically finding these tiny little, I mean, look at this angle. That's gonna be hard to see me. Aviator, aviator. That's gonna be really hard. Aviator side as well. That's gonna be really hard to see me through that angle. So. I'm being tracked out of Easy oh, headshot yeah. from a guy yeah, crossing over. Oh. But look at this, look at this gun. It has like no recoil, dude. Someone was watching that. Aviator of. side as well. Look. I'm being being tracked tracked the it has like no recoil. So that's why I really like it. It's And it packs a punch if you hit, if you sh go for body shots. It does like 42 damage or something like that. It's really powerful. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That's good, Jack. Don't me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's going and studying. 
So I'm holding just a tiny sliver of an angle. So I'm I'm able to deny map control and at the same time just hold really tiny angles. And thanks again to my shield, I can do that because I don't have to worry about anything from study door or from aviator door because if anybody peeks over there, they're just going to see a shield. That's it. I should have had you, you can study door. Hey, I don't have any. I should have told you. That's fine. Not your fault. I didn't even watch. Something came through. Op 4 located a bomb. Detected. Right, right side door. Push the door towards 90. In the 90. Okay, just holding angles, obviously. Landing. I'm kind of snaking around a lot, which, you know, isn't always the best, but I was low HP, so I wasn't exactly trying to take a bunch of gunfights. Um, just trying to do my part to anchor and still to be denying while also trying to narrow my hitbox as much as possible. So that's just my mentality here. Get yeah, please don't stack up. Thanks so much for watching. Check out the next episode here, and if it's not ready yet, stay tuned next week.